Hi, I'm Harish. I'm a third year undergrad at Vitsplani Goa campus. I'm pursuing electronics and communication engineering. And today, I'm just going to share about what I learned in these three years of engineering. Now, I'm going to divide this video into three parts. The first one is going to be academics. The second one is going to be social life. And the third one is going to be skills. And this pretty much summarizes my entire college life. So let's get started. Also, if you want to join India's most creative student community, then click on the link in the description. You'll join our Discord. It has a bunch of really cool people from over 2000 colleges. You don't want to miss out on a chance to network with people and different college students. So go check it out. Link in the description down below. First one is academics. Here are a bunch of courses that I took in these three years. Da -da 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 -da. And the most favorite course is ironically, not engineering courses. My favorite course is Effective Public Speaking, which in fact is a humanities course. And my second favorite course is Eco Criticism, which is also not an engineering course. It's, uh, it's, it's also a humanities course. You know, back in 10th and 12th grade, I used to be like, I topper to be a topper, I have to class mein first to be And I think I, I got like 97% in my 10th board and 96% in my 12th boards. And at that time, I was like one of the top students in my class. But once you get to college, no one is a topper because every student is so smart and uh, you just give up on all your ambitions of becoming a topper. Once you get to college, you'll realize that in real world, self academics may focus karne se, nothing's gonna happen. For example, some of the best students in my college, they are amazing at academics, but at the same time, they are part of the basketball team, they are part of the table tennis team. And that's really cool because that's how you have to live. You have to be an all-rounder, you have to do a bunch of extra things and not just be a nerd who wants to become a topper. So personally, I've changed. In my school, I wanted to become a topper, I wanted to get 90 percentage plus in everything, and that's all I focused on but in college I started realizing that there are many more things that I should focus on and it shouldn't just be academics. So once you come to college you'll realize that in 11th and 12th grade you have been mostly doing JE. Uh, it's, it's, it's the competitive exam prep but in college the academics is a bit different. It's similar to what you learned in school. So you take some courses and the courses uh, have a bunch of questions which are quite predictable and if you study well you'll be able to ace them. JE and all is very different where you get random questions from really complicated uh, out of the world topics but in college things are much more predictable. Second aspect is social life. So I've always been an introvert and a very very silent person in the past. Uh, in my 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade, in my 8th grade, 7th grade. Uh, I never spoke to people. I wasn't like the person who used to raise their hand in class and ask a question or I wasn't the person who had a lot of friends. I had single digit friends until 10th grade. Um, so once I came to college, I made sure that I was more outgoing and I was more social. I understood the importance of friends, the emotional support that uh, friends provide. And I also understood the importance of having a good network. If you have a good network, hai, toh, at the right time, you can have the right people help you. And uh, that's why I started making a bunch of friends. And for the first time in my life, I started going to outings and parties. It's Goa, you have a lot of cool places to visit with your friends. But yeah, you know, those have been some of the best experiences of my life. Going to cool beaches, going to great parties and having fun with friends. Uh, third part is skills, right? And this is where uh, I feel college comes into play. Uh, in, in our school, the only skill we used to have was learn through books. I used to go for a lot of classes, like I went for karate classes, drawing classes and a bunch of others. So yeah, in college, you start learning how you can apply all of the skills that you learned in the past into the actual industry, right? So I started learning things like building products. I started working on a bunch of projects with Shreyans, my co-founder, with Vinit, with Keenan, with Soumya and with Darshal. And we were able to pull off really cool projects like Hulock, which was a cool website. We were able to build uh, bits at bit by bit. We were able to build Clinify. All of these were amazing projects, which gave us experience of going from ideation stage to launching a product. And because I was working with a lot of people on different projects, I learned how to manage a team, how to work in a team, how to communicate well. I was able to learn how to film myself and also learn a bit of design. And I feel design and code are really, really important. If you know how to design well, if you know how to organize a website, if you know how to make a cool app, or if you know how to make cool posters, then you'll be in a very good position. Uh, and I also learned to drive. Uh, driving is also cool. If you know how to, how to ride a scooter or if you know how to drive a car, it, it, it just helps. That's pretty much it. So that's my three years of college experience. I'm in my third year, second semester right now. I have one more year to go and yeah, it's been a ride. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.